Hello there everyone and welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons design video. Today we have part two of the Sanrio items design challenge that I have been doing for the past couple of weeks and today we will be looking at Kero Kero Kuropi, My Melody and Cinema Roll. So I'm really excited to bring you these builds, the small, the small spaces builds rather than the larger ones that I did last week. So don't forget to check out that video. Also, if you like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I have so many more videos and I've got a playlist with all of them in there. Uh, top right hand corner eye icon right now. Go check that out. And don't forget to stay till the end of this video because today I will be announcing the winners to my giveaway. I will be giving out sets, full sets and including the posters of three people's choices and I will be announcing the winners for that at the end of this video. But anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. So for this design, you're gonna need these catalog items and these DIYs as well as these custom codes. So the first thing we're gonna do as always is put down our pathways. So we're gonna do one square of stone and then three of dark brown dirt. And then we're going to move down in sort of like an S, I'm, I'm thinking of it as like a snake-like pattern. So as you can see, I'm working it out now. We went two squares down and then about three across right to the edge of the dark dirt. Then we went a couple of squares down and then a couple of squares across. And from here, we're going to make a circle. So we're going to round out all our edges. And that's our foundation for this design. So the next thing we're going to do is use our water pattern and this is going to make it kind of look like a small water feature that our Keroka Keropi Ridge, God, I I'm going to say Keropi for now, that's way too much of a tongue twister for me. Um, we're going to be putting that over this fake water here. Now another thing that you can do is put this at the base of a waterfall, so have uh, a little bit of like a waterfall uh, piece coming down to that uh, first square next to the dark brown dirt. I was going to do that for this build but didn't quite get around to doing it that way but that is also an idea that you can do to help it blend into the environment a little bit more. I also used the round on the right hand side of that circle there because I wanted to make it look like a bit of a step. So we're going to put down our bamboo partition in the green and we're going to put a paper lantern right next to it. Then from that we're going to use our Ketopi lantern and pull that right over the corner so you can't see uh, the destroying there. And we're going to put the bridge right on top of the water. But the key to this one is, is that to pull it around so that it actually looks like the water is flowing under the bridge. Then we've got a floating biotope, we're going to push that right up against the bridge and decorate the area with some flowers on the pa um, flower patterns. Then we've got our monstera and we're just going to put that right on top of that flower pattern there. Then we're going to put down our pine bonsai. You can use anything else here, weeds could be nice or some flowers, but I decided to go with the pine bonsai and we're going to push that right back. Then we're going to put our moss ball right in front there. And of course our karopi snack. Nice little lily there, <laughs> pushing him around and, to, and turning him around so he's facing the front. And that's pretty much the entire design. As you can see, it would fit in a really nice little nook, nook on an Asian themed area or island. So let me know what you think of this design in the comments below. And of course, I really like it. So that means we're going to take a picture. So just line that up and... So for this design, you're going to need these catalog items and these DIYs, as well as these custom codes. So the first thing we're going to do is put down our cable knit carpeting here. So I'm going to go three by two and then put edging right at the end there. So this whole area ends up being about five squares across, sorry, four squares across by two down. Then we're going to put a My Melody table right there, right near the edge. Pull that in slightly by about one square because that's where we're going to put our My Melody chair, at least on the right hand side. Push that across and then another one at the top. So we're gonna put down our bunny day candy there, or a bunny day set. <laughs> and of course, we're gonna put our papa bear. So this is kind of like a teddy bear's picnic area. We're gonna put down our baby bear. 
And from there, a garden lantern. Now just keep in mind, this is what I have at the moment, but I am gonna tweak that a little bit near, sort of near the end of the design, so keep that in mind. So of course we've got an anthurium plant, because what would be a video designed by me if I didn't have an anthurium plant somewhere in there? <laughs> Wooden stool with our new carnations item for Mother's Day. And some log stakes. So from here we're going to do a little bit of landscaping by putting in some trees. One in front and one behind the anthurium, which we've pushed behind the My Melody chair. We're just going to push in the log stakes there. And then we're going to put in some flowers, namely hyacinths and tulips. So we've got some hyacinths either side of the tree, one behind the cedar and then one behind the log stakes. Then we've moved the garden lantern to be in front of the log stakes and we've put the baby bear back where it belongs. Just turn him around. And yeah, that's the whole design. I really love this. I think it looks really cute and be great on maybe cottage core or even a cute island. So anyway, we love it. We're going to take a picture. So for this design, you're going to need these catalog items and these DIYs, as well as these custom codes. Okay, so this one's a little bit of a bigger design. It's done in two steps. So the first thing we're going to do is do a little square here of about four squares across. And then we're going to go about three down using our corner areas. So I put in all the sides first and then I fill in the middle. That's usually how I approach most of my code, like most of the codes that I use. But we're not, we're going to leave two spots at the bottom there because we're going to put our steps there. Then we're going to use our dark dirt either side because we'll put hedges on that a little bit later just to give it some depth. So we've got our wedding arch and we're going to push that off the actual custom code along with the simple panels which we're going to do either side. As you can see I've definitely decided to push it off onto the grass. Then we're going to do a stall. This is just a basic uh, white panel um, default design with mum's cake on top and some yule logs which we've customised some anthurium plants and I've just pulled that out a little bit just to give it more of a dimension. Then we've got our cinnamon roll stool with some carnations on top and our, um, our board at the front. Here we go with our hedges. This just kind of gives it a little bit more dimension to the steps. And then we're going to use our stone paving here and I think we're going to do about four, four across and then three down again. So this is the second part of the design. Now that we have the little stool set up, you can probably use that just on its own. But if you want to do this little cafe area, you could also do it in front, you could do it on the sides, you could do it wherever you really like. So we're just going to do it in front, however. So we're going to do, as you can see, four squares by three, but we're going to leave a little bit of an area on the left, uh, bottom left corner because we're going to put some tulips there. So once we've done that, we've put a garden lantern right in front of the hedge, making sure it's pushed right back. And then we've got our parasol. And we're going to use our table and our chairs. So I'm using wedding chairs for this design because they fit with the whole blue and pink theme. Making sure we turn that around. And then we've got our cinema roll tray on top as well. And we're going to spin it around until we have the mugs facing each of the chairs. And that's the whole design. Fairly simple, but looks super, super cute. So of course we love it. Let's take a picture. So those are the designs. Let me know what you think about them in the comment section below. Also, if you have any other designs you'd like me to try. But now to announce our winners for the giveaway. And they are Cadet Healy, Lily Hallard, and Caitlin Lehman. Congratulations guys, you are the winners of the Sanrio giveaway. I'm so excited to visit your islands and deliver you your sets. Don't forget that Healy, you have won three sets of your choice. Lily Hallard, you have won two. And Caitlin, you have won one set of your choice. So feel free to email me. You can check out my about section for my email. Please email me or contact me via Instagram. Just DM me, which is on screen now. Um, DM me what you would like. And also we'll tee up a time that I can come visit your islands and personally deliver the items of your choice. I'm so excited. Then congratulations, guys. So if you want to know when my next videos are coming out, also I'm announcing live streams on both YouTube and Twitch now. So if you like to watch things on 
Twitch. Don't forget, you can check out my Twitter. I have everything about my live stream on Friday coming up. So if you want to join me on either YouTube or Twitch, you are more than welcome. Don't forget to go follow me over there. I also have links to that in my com uh, community tab. So don't forget to check that out there as well. And if you want to support the channel, just in general, don't forget you can do so over at Patreon. I always post my videos there first, as well as all my pictures and all my drafts. Anything early access you can get on my Patreon. So don't forget, early access is Patreon. Contact me um, on Instagram for the giveaway winners. And also if you want all the pictures that I do, um, all the designs that I do, past, present and future, as well as Twitter for news. But that's all for now, folks. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have a good one. See ya.